Buy now, pay later (BNPL), an alternative payment method, has gained popularity in Taiwan in recent years. This is due to shifts in consumption patterns and a growing population of solopreneurs and self-employed individuals across various industries. In 2019, data from the Directorate General of Budget, Accounting and Statistics revealed that the number of non-typical employees in Taiwan exceeded 800,000, making up 8.3 percent of the overall employed population. As atypical employment becomes increasingly common, BNPL offers greater financial flexibility to a broader user base, including students, stay-at-home parents, and freelancers. Around 8 million people do not have credit cards in Taiwan, which is why BNPL has become an alternative payment method for them. In 2022, the total number of BNPL users tripled compared to the same period in 2021. With the 31 to 55 age group experiencing the most significant growth, accounting for 72 percent of users, BNPL attracts consumers for three primary reasons: security, flexibility, and convenience. There are two differences between BNPL and credit card payments. The first difference is application requirements, as BNPL has a looser and lower threshold than credit cards. The second point is the difference in the entire credit review mechanism. Since we use an AI model to determine the credit limit, it allows consumers to promptly obtain their usable limit. BNPL has not only seen rapid growth in Taiwan but also globally. It is projected to comprise 12% of all e-commerce transactions by 2025, equivalent to nearly 22 trillion NT dollars. Nevertheless, experts advise consumers to consider three hidden risks while enjoying the benefits of BNPL. Overspending, repayment ability, and late fees. Chen Wenyue, Yu Xinghan, Isabel Wang, TVBS World, Taiwan.